Welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. My name is Tara and today I'm bringing you this festival inspired look. You can do Coachella, you can do Afropunk, whatever music festival that you are going to be going to. Now you don't have to go green, you don't have to go with stars, you can choose whatever sort of embellishments that you prefer. I got all the embellishments like the stars from Michaels and it was super affordable. I think everything came to about three dollars. Like I'm gonna have stars for years and years and years. So anyway I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do please be sure to give it a big thumbs up and please remember to subscribe if you are not subscribed already. So let's get started. So as always I'm going to start by priming my eyes with my Illy Girl Pro Conceal in the color Toffee. I'm going to blend that with a brush but I am not going to set it with any powder for today. And just make sure you're blending that concealer all the way up to underneath your brow so that it blends in seamlessly with the concealer that you use to clean up your brows. So now the eyes are primed, it's still a little bit sticky from the concealer and that's exactly how we want it because we really do want this color that we're going to put on to be really vibrant. So we're going to be going in with the Jada color from the Jaclyn Hill X Morphe palette and we're going to pick that up on a Morphe E17 brush and what we're going to be doing is basically stamping that color into our crease and our transition area. This technique is a little tricky but you'll see that it kind of blends itself out. Just keep on pushing the product into the crease in a rounded shape. Don't worry if it gets on the lid. As you guys know, we are gonna clean that up with some concealer later on down the line. And now we're gonna go around the edges. Again, we're still pressing. We've placed most of that green color into our crease. And now we're just going to stamp very lightly around the edge of that green. And you'll notice it starts sort of blending it naturally by itself. Now we're gonna go in with the creamsicle color on a Morphe E27 brush. And we're gonna blend that all along our brown line to help that fuse that green color even more. You're basically setting the concealer. Then we're gonna go back in with that Jada color and further intensify the green. Next, I'm gonna pick up the Enchanted color on a Morphe M222 brush, and I'm gonna use this color to further deepen my crease. I'm gonna place my crease line a little bit higher than my natural crease so that it's still visible even when I'm looking straight ahead. This is like a deep, dark, foresty green, and it's just really gonna bring some depth and definition to the look. I'm keeping most of the color on the outer third, and I'm stamping this color as well to start. And then I'm gonna go in with a Morphe M412 brush to further diffuse that color. Now I'm doing windshield wiper motions because I've already set the concealer. I didn't put any shadow on this brush, I'm just using it to blend out that crease color. And then we're gonna go back in with that Jada color and we're just gonna stamp all over that enchanted color to make sure that it's really nice and blended. Next I'm going in with the Morphe E37 brush and the Abyss color from the Jaclyn Hill X Morphe palette and I'm gonna further deepen my crease. And I'm gonna draw this line a little bit higher than my natural crease. As you guys know, I like to do this so that it's still visible even when I'm looking straight ahead. And again, this is a great step if you have hooded eyes, slightly hooded eyes, or you just don't have a lot of lid space. It doesn't have to be super perfect because we are going to be covering this up a little bit. Just go ahead and lay it down and then you can kind of curve that crease line upwards a little bit as you reach the outer third of your eye. And I'm using that same brush, I'm doing swirls, I'm doing windshield wiper motions to kind of buff out that line a little bit. And then I'm going in with the Morphe M222 brush and I'm just lightly blending that black color out a little bit more and diffusing it some more. Next I'm going to go in with that same LA Girl Pro Conceal and a flat brush and I'm going to use this to carve out my lid. Next, I'm going in with the Chef Shower in Color from the Saharan 2 palette on a flat brush, and I'm going to pack that all over the lid, stopping about midway. Next, I'm going to go in with another flat brush and the Berber color, and I'm going to place that on the rest of the lid. And I'm going to layer it over the Chef Shower in Color as well. So I went ahead and cleaned up the outer third of my eye using a makeup wipe, and now I'm going to apply a wing liner using my e.l.f. liquid eyeliner. I'm gonna apply some concealer to my lower lash line to really make the color pop. And then I'm gonna go in with the Pool Party color from the Jaclyn Hill X Morphe palette on a Morphe E36 brush. And I'm just going to lay that over the concealer. 
Then I'm going to go in with the Morphe E37 brush and deepen the outer third of that lower lash line. And then I'm going to go in with a Morphe M506 brush and the Hunts color and I'm going to further smoke up my lower lash line. Next I'm going in with these tiny little stars that I purchased from Michaels. They come in a glitter sample pack. This is what the pack looks like. And this is just one of the packs and it has these sort of holographic looking stars. They're like a little pink, a little green. I'm going to place this right in my crease using my NYX Multitasker Mixing Medium. You can use glitter glue, you can use eyelash glue, whatever works best for you. And it also depends on how long you're going to be wearing this look for. So using a super small detail brush, I'm going to start placing a little bit of that Multitasker Mixing Medium in my crease. Then I'm going to pick up a star and I'm just going to place it right in my crease and then we're going to go all the way along our crease. I'm laying about enough glue for two stars and then I'm going in and adding more as needed. Isn't that so pretty? It just has a little bit of reflectiveness and then you can just use the base of whatever brush to gently push it in. So now I'm going to go in with that same NYX Multitasker Mix and Medium and some glitter that came in that same pack. It's similar to the stars in that it has a little bit of a holographic shift. I'm going to place that all over the inner third of my eye. I'm just going to take a sort of small flat brush, apply the Multitasker Mix and, and then medium. go in with the glitter. I'm going to highlight my inner eye corner using that same Chef Sharon color from the Saharan 2 palette on a Morphe M514 brush. I'm also going to place a little bit of the Stila Magnificent Metals Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow in the color Rose Gold in my inner eye corner for a little extra sparkle. I love doing this because it really gives it that shimmery, glittery look. And I'm just going to take that on a Morphe E19 brush. For mascara, I'm going in with the e.l.f. mascara for my top and bottom lashes. And for lashes, I'm going to go in with the Coco Lashes in the Queen Bee style. All right, guys, so the eyes are done. They're looking very festive, very Coachella. And now we are going to move on to the face. So I finished most of my base off camera. You guys can check out one of my previous videos if you want to see what that looks like. I did not switch it up in the least bit. So now I'm going to go ahead and highlight my face. I'm going to be using the Jackie Aina Artist Couture Collaboration. This is their Diamond Glow Powder in the color La Peach. And I'm going to take that on an e.l.f. small tapered brush. And then I'm going to go in with the Morphe E37 brush to highlight down the bridge of my nose as well as my brow bone. For blush, I'm going to go in with Peace by Iman and I'm just going to take that on an e.l.f. complexion brush. All right, now we are gonna add some more festive Coachella Afropunk vibes. So I picked up the sequins from Michaels as well. I'll try to leave as much as I can in the description box below. They're like these gold stars. And we're gonna try to put these all over our face. So we're gonna start above the brow. I'm gonna be using the NYX Multitasker Mixing Medium just because I'm not gonna be keeping this look on for very long. But again, if you are gonna be wearing this look all day at an actual festival, go ahead and use glitter glue. You can use your eyelash glue, just something that's gonna last a little bit longer. So yeah, I'm gonna bring my mirror a little bit closer just to make things easier. And let's get to work. I'm putting a little a little bit of the um, NYX Multitasker Mix and Medium there and I'm just using a small detail brush. I'm gonna pick that up and place that right there like so. And we're gonna do that all along the tops of our brows. One thing I notice about a lot of Coachella looks and a lot of festival looks is they always have, you know, an element of face art or just something that's a little whimsical and, you know, festival-y so to speak. <laughs> And you could do this with jewels, you could do this with gems. I just picked this because, um, I don't know, I had the idea of stars in my mind, so I wanted to do that. And these were super affordable at Michael's. I got, star, I got the holographic sort of um, multi-pack that I used earlier. I got these stars and I also got a garland and everything came to like $3. And also make sure you check on the website because they always have coupons. So I was able to get 60% off one item. So that's pretty major. And look how cute those stars look. I think I'm gonna add just one more. And then I'm, 
Then I'm just gonna take the butt of my detail brush and just push it into the skin even more. This is so fun. I've never done anything like this and I'm loving the way that it is looking right now. I'm so excited to see everything come together. Oh my goodness, that is so cute. Now this one needs to be moved over a little bit more. So this is looking really cool, but I want to add even a little bit more festival vibes, a little bit more Coachella vibes, a little bit more Afropunk vibes. So I'm gonna go in with the Steely Magnificent Metals Glittering Glow Liquid Eyeshadow in the color Rose Gold. Rose Gold Retro to be specific. You guys know I love, love this stuff. And I'm gonna use this to give myself some freckles. I know, I've never done this before. I hope this goes well. If you're scared like I am, just stop here, okay? Oh my God, this is looking so good. Okay, let's go ahead and stop here. Let's not overdo it. I am in love with this look right now. I think that's all we're gonna be doing in terms of like sparkle. So let's talk about what we wanna do with our lips. I think we're probably just gonna go nude just cause we do have a lot going on. For lips, I'm gonna go in with my NYX Butter Gloss in the color Praline. All right, you guys, I'm gonna fix my hair, put on something a little bit more festive, and I will be right back. All right, loves, this is the final look. I threw on this yellow head wrap, because I don't know, I just really wanted to do something with yellow, and I don't have any yellow eyeshadow on me, because I'm still traveling. Um, but I was like, you know what, I have this head wrap. Maybe I can make it work, and you know, I think it kind of looks cool. So I really hope you guys enjoy this video. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. And please remember to subscribe if you are not subscribed already. Also, let me know in the comments below what music festival you are going to this year, if any at all. And did you catch Beyonce at Coachella? Or should I say Beachella? Because she just took the whole festival over. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. And until next time, have a wonderful day.